Now at this point, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to find this out, but after you rescue Shadow from the Cave of the Velt, he moves on to the Dragon Net Coliseum, and we can't actually fight him. He shouldn't prove too hard to beat. So let's bet the striker. We'll pet Edgar. We'll pit Edgar against Shadow. <laughs> See, he's beaten already. So not only did we get the striker back. The only thing I know how to do is fight. Why not come with us? First, I need to see how far I can get here. Nah, don't worry about that, though. So not only did we get the striker weapon back, but we also got Shadow back as a per permanent party member. Huh. <laughs> Ultras is a, re a receptionist here, apparently. Better watch what you bet, or Master Chupon will just come and take it from you. But yeah, the only way to fight Shadow is to bet that striker weapon, which you get from the Cave of the Velt where you actually found him. Alright, so... Next thing we want to do is head towards Figaro Castle. Should we park... Yeah, there it is. Check out that behemoth suit real quick. Oh wow, that seems much better than his towel robe. Huh. Okay, I'll definitely equip that on Strago. Alright, so you know, you guys know how we can move Figaro Castle around underground. Well, there's actually a side area that we can reach now at this point. So let's go to Figaro. There's something odd about this stratum. It's as if we bumped into something. Well, let's stop and explore. Now I believe we can explore this area through the prison. to this new area. Now, the, I believe the enemies here all have the gimmick of having auto-reflect, so our spells aren't going to be as useful here. Now, I think this enemy... Yeah, wait, no. We used Aqua Rink, but I think it can also use Clean Sweep. Let's see if it'll use it. That's basically the upgraded version of Aqua Rake. Alright, 
right, cool. Another lure for Strago. Oh, I see. Uh, aqua, aqua Rake is wind and water, while Clean Sleep is just water. Okay. okay. Alright, we're only missing five lures now, which is awesome. Now, while most of our spells will be reflected by these fools, I think X-Zone will still work. I think. Yeah, there we go. Almost there, Cyan. Then we can give you something to focus on your stats. Right, so there's an ether. Oh, if you're wondering why Sabin's doing so much damage to these things, it's because they're weak to holy damage, and he's got dual dragon claws. Edgar's Holy Lance is going to do extra damage as well. There's a wing edge. I think that's a new weapon for Locke, who we don't have yet. I think if we go down this way... It brings us to a treasure chest. And it's a monster in a box. Now we have to be very careful of this enemy. This is a master pug. I think it's vulnerable to sleep. I think. stick to casting spells so that we don't wake it up. What is this? Oh, I guess I didn't teach Flare to Cyan yet. Oh. What makes this guy dangerous, though, is that he has a chance of countering all of your attacks with a 
an attack called Step Mine, and that basically does damage based on the amount of steps that you've taken. So if you don't have a high amount of HP, there's a good chance it'll just start one-hitting all your party members. But if we put it to sleep like this, then he won't be as much of a threat. Oh, he's awake! Let's put him back to sleep. And also, he tries to walk forward every few turns. If he gets close enough, he'll use an attack called Cleaver, which does a ton of damage. But we got him, so goodbye to the Master Pug. And he dropped a Gradius. So there's a new weapon for Edgar, it looks like. It's actually stronger than the Pearl Lands, even. Not bad, so now he has he's dual wielding holy weapons just like his brother. So I think to continue, we need to go back up. Oh, wait. Now you have to be careful of goblins when they're alone because they can cast stuff like level 5 death. But it looks like they're weak to holy damage, just like the NUOs. Ah, good. Cyan finally learned Cure 3. I guess Ifrit, so it gains a little bit of extra strength. We'll give Bahamut to Cyan. Alright, I think that's good enough for me. Right, so I think we gotta go back down and then around. Unless, can I get down to the left side from here? Nope. Now remember, mo all the enemies down here have auto-reflect. The only reason X-Zone is working is because it's not affected by reflect. Right, these guys we shouldn't even need spells for. Edgar and Sabin can handle them.
Okay, so wind damage doesn't really do much to them. That's fine. So that got us to do darts. And that's a dead end. Oh, I can go this way. Nice, that got signed quite a bit of HP. It's kind of hard to tell where I'm going in this place. Great, thanks for that, Strago. Counter rate is quite high in this place. Next potion and magicite. Right, let's go down the stairs next.
You know, despite being weak to holy damage, that holy attack didn't really do that much. Which is a little weird. Ah, go to save point. Couldn't remember if there was one if there was a save point down here or not. So here we have the ancient castle area. What the attack. Let's show him some of our Esper magic. One thousand years ago, in the, in the past, a battle was waged here. Only Odin is here. Are your wounds healed? We're fresh out of options. We'll have to leave this battle in Odin's hands. Odin, eh? A city ruined during the War of the Magi. <laughs> Adam Edge. Or more commonly known as Zen Tetsuken. Fighting a ghost. But it didn't work. Don't do it. Don't turn me into Magicite. Ah, he was petrified. There's an ancient legend. It tells of a battle between Odin and a powerful sorcerer that took place in a great hall of the castle. Hmm. Well, let's start exploring. Ow. Goodbye, enemies. Oh, it didn't get one of them. Oh, so that's gonna... yeah, his level is halved. But we still got it anyway. Uses MP to inflict mortal blow. But we've had a couple swords like that, I think. But this is a rod version. So Strago could equip it if he wanted to if he wanted to, but I don't think we want to. Here we have a monster in a box. Say hello to Katana Soul. Now, this guy can be incredibly tough. After 40 seconds of battle, he, he, he boosts his power even more by having, like, image and reflect up. But I think I have a way of beating him a little bit more easily. We're going to confuse him. Makes him use Slayer Edge on himself, and <laughs> wow. I didn't think it would instantly kill him, but wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, goodbye, Katanasol. That got us the Offering Relic. Alright, now this is an interesting relic. It, ba it basically turns Fight into X-Fight. Now what that does is, it lowers your attack power, unfortunately, but what it does is that it allows a party member to attack four times at once. Now, while that does sound awesome, that also means that um, it does have another downside. It, the user of the offering will attack random targets. So if there's more than one enemy, it do, it, you'll never know which target you're going to attack with the offering equipped. It's really, really good against like bosses and stuff, though. It can also be combined with the Genji Glove to end up doing four, attack, uh, four attacks per hand, so up to eight attacks at once. I'm not sure if that's overkill or not, though. Probably is. I don't think there's ever really a situation where you need to attack eight times, though. So he's almost learned Flare. Good. Right, now, I think these things are called box sets. I think level 5 Doom marks on them. to that thing. give Bahamut back to Strago just so I can buff up his HP when he levels up. But that begs, begs the question, what should I give Cyan then? His strength is significantly lower than everyone else's, so I think it, it'd be a good idea to give him Bismarck. Work on his strength now. As for Edgar... Zone Seek to Sabin to buff up Bum Rush for when I do eventually get the command for it, right? Then we can give Ifrit to him. And I think that'll be good. So in here is the Petrified Odin. Odin turned into a Magicite Shard. So yes, this is Odin. He actually teaches the Meteor spell, a uh, rate of times one. He also gives plus one speed at level up. As far as I'm aware, I think he's the only Esper that actually gives uh, uh, speed at your an extra speed at level up, which means your ATB, ATB gauge fills up faster. have another gold hairpin, and the blizzard orb. That's another item for a character that we don't currently have. 